Hi, I'm Karen Belbeer with a quick tip for pre-K. Today I'm going to share with you how to create your rules as the home screen and lock screen for the iPad. So I'm going to take you over here to my iPad to kind of show you what I mean. Um, in one of our sessions, our previous sessions, we, we talked about how um, some of our pre-K students can't read those rules in sentences if we place them um, in our room. And we thought it would be a great idea to have our rules as our um, home screen and our lock screen so that they're always present. And so I'm going to share with you how this can be accomplished and then in our next pre-K quick tip I'll share with you how to clear off your screen so that your rules are always present at the start of your lesson. So let's get started. I'm going to recommend using an app called Keynote. I'm going to look for this. It's an app that TLI has purchased for our te uh, TLI teachers. So Keynote. This is basically a presentation tool. Let me get out of here. Um, in which you can use to create nice little presentations. You'll see I have lots of presentations here. <laughs> but we're just going to make a nice little slide for our students. I'm going to hit this plus sign, and that'll allow me to create a new presentation. Find a color, maybe a background that I like for my rules. Let's see, this one looks pretty nice. We'll go ahead and select the craft. I like that color. There we go. And so here, I'm just going to cheat and add a new slide. All right, add a new slide. I don't want to find something that has nothing on it. There we go. Nice blank slide. Well, for my students, I probably want to go ahead and make sure I add my name. So I'm, I'm looking for this add button. Add my name, add a photo, add media. So I'll just grab a little square. And this is just because I want to highlight my name. So tap and resize. And I'm going to move this right over here in the middle. If you want to add text, just double tap with your finger. Here we go. Double tap. And of course, my name is Mrs. Balbeer. And just like that, I now have my name. I'm going to tap to resize. There we go. Looks great. Now for my rules, of course, I want a visual photo. And so I drew um, a nice little clip, piece of clip art in uh, Hello Crayon. And what I did was I just saved it. And you can actually find those in our pre-K Dropbox. Um, I'll go ahead and hit the plus sign here. And we're going to add in a photo that I created, or clip art that I created earlier. I'm going to tap on this media button. And of course, it takes me right to my photos, where I'm going to find the clip art that I drew previously. So we'll go ahead and bring in this little guy. He's sitting crisscross applesauce. So this is very visual as to what we want our students to do. I just tapped. There we go. And I just took a handle here on the corner and drug it in to resize. So one of my favorite features about Keynote is that you're able to get rid of that white background using something called Instant Alpha. So let me show you how you would do that. You're going to tap and just select your photo. So you can see it's selected. And over here, you want to look for this uh, little wrench. And that's going to allow us to make, whoops, not the wrench, the paintbrush to make changes. All right? And so if it's here in style, you'll just see that there's your photo. All right? Images. And you see something called Instant Alpha. And what that does is that allows me to erase a certain color from my photo. And so I'm going to touch, and you'll see that white space. I'm going to drag a little bit with my finger, and it says 9%. Well, it's, it's taking away that white background. Hang on. And you notice it changed a different color. Let me let go. And voila, that uh, white is now gone from the background. I'm going to pinch in real quick and do the same. We'll go to that paintbrush again. Select my photo, paintbrush, instant alpha. And I'm just going to choose that little white space by his elbows. OK, that one's not quite what I wanted. There we go. And then uh, it takes that away as well. All right, pinch back in. So now he looks like he's actually sitting here on this carpet on my rule page. So I'm going to cheat a little bit just to save some time. But I actually already uh, did this for you. I set this up. Let me go back to my presentations here. I set this up in a slide previously. And it looks like this. Once you finish creating your rules and, and they look the way that you'd like, you want to make sure that all of your uh, pieces are right here in the center because when you save this to your home screen, it's going to make it a little bit larger uh, than you're going to want. So it's not going to look exactly like this. And you'll see what I mean in just a moment. Press the play button. So there we go. I've got my beautiful photo. And you're going to take a screen capture or a screenshot. Find your home button on your iPad and the power on off button of your iPad. And when you do that, you'll see a little flash. And that just means you're saving a photo of uh, your slide. Okay? So I'm going to hit my home button. And whenever you save a photo of your slide, it's always going to go to photos. So I'll go ahead and touch photos. 
And um, let's go down and find my collection here. Excuse me, I have lots of photos. And this is the picture that I just took right now. So if I want to set this as my home screen, I'm going to tap on it to view the photo and look for that share button. There it is. Well, my share button uh, gives me many options, but I want to use this photo as my wallpaper. So I'll tap on that. And you'll notice, like I said, it makes it look a lot larger. That's why we wanted those images in the center. So you can pinch and kind of adjust this. There we go. I prefer to turn this on the side. I don't know if you notice that it, they don't all fit. Well, if you uh, create this vertically, it should work out a lot better. There we go. Looks nice. Now I'm going to set it as my lock screen and my home screen. So I'll click Set Both. All right, hit my Home button. And you'll notice now that I have my rules visible on my iPad. You notice all my apps are in the way. So in my next video, my quick tip, I'll share with you how to clear off these apps so that all of these students are visible to your pre-kindergarten students. Thanks for joining me for this quick tip on how to create your rules and set them on your home screen for your pre-K students.